Hi there, it's Laura here from makingcardsissun.com and welcome to another card making video tutorial here at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm here with a card I made for Cloud9 Crafts. I'll be showing you how to create a long fun reveal wheel card featuring the brand new Dandy Day theme set you see on the right and then the older Butterfly Kisses theme set on the left. So let's get started. I'm going to start out by stamping all of my images on some Nina Solar White cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And as always, I'm using a L'Enfant stamp chamois to clean my stamps. I like to use a Make It By Marco chamois case to hold my chamois while I'm using it. And it also keeps the chamois nice and damp. Next, it's time to color these images using Copic Sketch Markers. For the flowers, I'm using Y38, Y35, and Y32. As always, I'm starting out with my lightest color, then using the darkest shade to add some shadow. Then I'm going in with the mid-tone color, and then finally I go back to the lightest color to blend everything out. For the leaves and stems, I'm using YG09, YG06, and YG03. Then for these dandelions, I'm going in with some shades of neutral grays. I'm using N1 and N0 and N2 for the center of those dandelions. And then I'm going in with the colorless blender just to blend that out a little bit so you won't see a harsh edge or harsh line. For these little clouds from the Butterfly Kisses steam set, I'm using BG11 and the colorless blender to add a little bit of subtle shading. For the ears of these adorable little mice, I am going in with E01 and E0000. To color the actual mice, I am using W31 and double zero. However, I just felt like I needed one shade extra in order to get nice blending, so I went ahead and added W0 um, just for some extra shading. Now that I colored all of the images, it's time to cut them out using the coordinating dies. I like to keep my dies in place using washi tape and then I run them through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. I'm also going to go ahead and do some die cutting for my reveal wheel piece. So over here I have the card front of my reveal wheel and I'm using a little piece of washi tape to click in that little window over there from the reveal wheel, reveal wheel square add-on die cut set. I'm using some pattern paper from the um, Dandy Day Petite Paper Pack from L'Enfant and then I did some partial die cutting using some citronella cardstock from L'Enfant and I'm also going in with the grassy border die to create a nice grassy border. I'm going to finish off my reveal wheel frame using the scalloped edge from the square add-on and I'm adhering that on my reveal wheel card front using the long foam glue tube. I'm also using some foam squares to adhere my grassy border. And then I positioned all of my colored images just so I can get an idea where I have to stamp my sentiment that says just a little note to say. This is a stamp from the Love Poem stamp set from Long Foam. I'm adhering all of my images using the Long Foam glue tube and some scrapbook adhesives foam squares. So um, I'm also using my EK Success tweezers just to position everything. I die cut three more pieces to create my reveal wheel. I die cut the card front once more, then I also die cut the wheel and the wheel base. I'm going to use this little stencil to stamp my sentiments perfectly straight. So I am lining up that stencil with the scalloped edge and then I'm using some washi tape to hold that down in place. My reveal wheel is going to say, have a nice day, sending hugs and hello to you. So these are sentiment stamps from the Love Poem stamp set from L'Enfant and I'm stamping them using Memento Textile Black ink. 
If you follow my YouTube channel and blog, you know that I like to make review glue cards. They are probably my favorite interactive cards to make since they don't really require a lot of time to make them. Alright, so now I am taking the main wheel and I am putting the bread through that little wheel base. So I'm going to put that through the back of my wheel base. I'm going to close that bread and then I'm applying some foam squares around the bread and then I am going to um, position my wheel with the embossed lines. So you have to line that up until you don't see those embossed lines anymore and then you can line that up with your reveal wheel base. So there you go. So it's really not that difficult. It's quite easy. Using a bunch more of these little scrapbook adhesives foam squares to create a nice and sturdy base for my reveal wheel cards. I am lining that up over here and then we're almost finished. I die cut this piece of pattern paper from the Hello Sunshine Remix Paper Pack from L'Enfant using the largest rectangle from the large stitched rectangles die cut set from L'Enfant. I'm adhering everything together using my Scotch ATG before I am finishing off my card with this little arrow from the uh, reveal wheel die cut set. So this comes with the basic die cut set of the reveal wheel. And I'm also going in with a Spectrum Noir shimmer pen to add a little bit of glitter here and there because that's just what I do every single time. I can't finish a card without adding at least a little bit of sparkle and dimension using my beloved Tonic Nouveau Crystal Glaze. And this time I am also going to adhere a couple of sequins here and there. So I'm adhering those using the L'Enfant glue tube. I'm just dipping them into the glue and I can position them perfectly using my EK Success tweezers. And there you go. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this L'Enfant reveal wheel card featuring the spring 2020 release, including the Dandy Day steam set and the Dandy Day paper pack. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell below. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.